Welcome back to News 11 at 4. A major fire in Valley Park overnight brought out multiple fire crews. News 11's Patrick Clark is live in Valley Park with more. He also has reaction from neighbors awakened by that fire. Patrick. Yeah, that's right, Mike. This was a massive fire, as you mentioned, made even more difficult for firefighters last night due to high wind across much of the St. Louis region. Today, this business trying to clean up from the destruction. Bomberito Automotive Group Skyfox over the scene at Marshall Road and 6th Street in Valley Park. A three alarm blaze bringing multiple fire departments and 60 firefighters to fight the fire at elite properties. I heard a boom and then my daughter come running downstairs and said, Mom, there's a tree on fire across the street. And when we came out, we seen the tree and then we looked over here and the building was in flames. It's unclear how the fire began at the property management and restoration company. Valley Park Fire Protection District getting the call for service around 3 a.m. Power knocked out to the surrounding neighborhood. It was just raging, like absolutely insane. And then when I went back inside and I came out, um, it was even worse. You couldn't even see the street. The smoke was so bad. There was ash flying in our face. We were all covering our faces and everything just to watch. Thankfully, no one injured in this blaze just a couple of blocks away from the nearby Valley Park Firehouse. High winds increasing the size and scope of the fire. One of the biggest challenges that they initially faced was this is a wind-driven fire. Um, we've, we've had high winds today. Uh, this definitely contributed to the fire spread. And for one longtime employee of Elite Properties, a devastating sight as he arrived to work Wednesday morning. Very, very surprising. Kind of sad a little bit because when I see everything, it's gone, everything's gone. Well, as you know, it was cold overnight. Residents telling us that they lost power. It was shut off around 4 a.m. this morning, and they did not get it restored until the early afternoon today. The cause of this blaze is still under investigation. For now in Valley Park, Patrick Clark, News 11.